All right. Proverbs 18. Unfriendly people care only about themselves. They lash out at common sense. Fools have no interest in understanding. They only want to air their own opinions. Doing wrong leads to disgrace, and scandalous behavior brings contempt. Wise words are like deep waters. Wisdom fro flows from the wise like a bubbling brook. That one was so beautiful. It is not right to acquit the guilty or deny justice to the innocent. Fools' words get them into constant quarrels. They are asking for a beating. The mouths of fools are their ruin. They trap themselves with their lips. Rumors are dainty morsels that sink deep into one's heart. A la lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. The rich think of their wealth as a strong defense. They imagine it to be a high wall of safety. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honor. Spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. Hmm. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Giving a gift can open doors. It gives access to important people. The first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. Flipping a coin can end arguments. It settles disputes between powerful opponents. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The man who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. The poor plead for mercy, and the rich answer with insults. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. Beautiful. God's word is so good. It always stirs me and like no matter how many times I always go back through and read the Proverbs it's like whatever piece I needed at that time just hits me and I'm like oh my gosh I know I've read it so many times but today this speaks to me you know so God's words like alive and living and it digs deep inside of us and it's so full of wisdom that's opposite of this world and uh, the only way we know the Lord and his plans and thoughts and good things is by getting in his word. The only way we know our kids is by is by being with them, being in relationship with them. And the only way we know our friends and family or if you have a spouse is to, you know, you have to be with them. Like, you have to spend time. So we could feel far from God and be frustrated, but. How much time are we putting in towards that relationship, you know? Just thoughts and speaking to myself, so. Have a good night and happy 18th of whatever month it is for you. September 18th here and off to dreamland. Hasta mañana. <laughs>